vortex, the anti-static holding chamber, so that the active substance reaches where it's needed. To make sure that it's used safely, we recommend that you clean the vortex and accessories after each use and disinfect them at least once per week. In the event of a severe infection, you're advised to disinfect once a day. Cleaning is an easy three-step process. Preparation, cleaning and drying. Wash your hands thoroughly before each cleaning session. Detach the mask from the mouthpiece. Remove the dose inhaler from the connecting ring. Disassemble the vortex into its individual parts. Make sure that the protective cap is open. Rinse the vortex parts you have used in running tap water for about two minutes. Fill a bowl with water and add a little washing up liquid. Soak all the individual parts in the water for about five minutes. Occasionally move the parts back and forth. To remove any visible dirt, use a medium soft brush reserved exclusively for this purpose. Rinse all parts thoroughly under running tap water. Alternatively, place the parts in a dishwasher connected to a main water supply. It's important that you do not clean the vortex together with very dirty dishes. Position all parts so that no water can collect in them. Select a program with at least 50 degrees Celsius. Disinfect the vortex after cleaning. There are two options available for disinfection. To disinfect with boiling water, you will need a clean pot and tap water. The plastic parts must not touch the base or sides of the pot, as the plastic may otherwise melt. Alternatively, they may be disinfected with a standard thermal disinfector for baby bottles. Dry the individual parts directly after cleaning or disinfection. Shake out any excess moisture. Ensure that there is no residual moisture in the parts. Place all parts on a dry, clean and absorbent surface and allow them to dry and cool completely. Please always observe the instructions for use when cleaning and disinfecting the Vortex. Vortex, the anti-static holding chamber, so that the active substance reaches where it's needed.